Welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Serpent. Today I'm going to cover off where are we heading with the Bitcoin price action and how it's going to affect the, the old coins in the short term and the long term. Um, if you do like these videos, you know, they're four to five minutes, so just giving you exactly what you need, um, do make sure to hit that subscribe button. I um, really appreciate all of you and everything that you've done so far for the channel, being a one week old, extremely, extremely proud um, and feel fortunate to have you um, uh, watching this. So. Where are we at at the moment with Bitcoin and, and you know, for how much longer is this going to go? Um, because we've had a few, you know, a few times where the price has gone up and people will be like, oh, great, the bull runs back. But not quite yet. So what I can see here from, from where we're at at the moment on this particular chart and, a, you know, just a couple of drawings uh, just to let you know roughly about what's going on and for probably for how much longer we can, we can continue to see this happen is that I think we're going to be trading down. For, for a bit longer, like probably another another week, at least another week and a half. And we're going to continue to go down this path. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to go right down to 36,000, but I think we're going to end up somewhere around 40 or 38,000 before we begin the next the next run. And the next one will probably be to $70,000. So a little bit of pain for long-term gain. And, you know, for those of you that have been around since uh, 2017, you know the game and you know what, what, what it's all about and uh, what it takes as well. And, you know, holding and uh, keeping strong during bearish action is what makes it happen. So what we can see here on the lines right now is, you know, what, what we've been going through, you know, the highs that we hit and where we're at right now. And, and again, why I think that we are heading lower before we can go back up. So for me, I just wanted to come out and give you guys a little bit of this. And you know, how does this impact the old coins? Well, some old coins are impacted by the price of Bitcoin more than others. But for me, the big, biggest advice that I can give you right now in March is that all the action that we're seeing, all the price action that we're seeing of Bitcoin right now, I don't think we're out of the bear market just yet. I think we're gonna go down a little bit more, probably, like I said, head to 40, possibly 38. And then we're going to continue to go up and, and you know, like I said, the next all time high is going to be at 70. Now, should we break below 36, then that's a different, different story. And we'll, you know, we'll address that uh, if we get there. I don't think so. I think we're in extreme bulls market. It's just a correction that is happening right now. And of course, because of the huge growth that we've seen since January. So for me, I think hold on where we've got a little bit more to go uh, before we can start to go back up. Well, when we do go back up, it's going to be quite aggressive. And like I said, I think the next stop for Bitcoin will be 70. And where we're going to end up at the end of the bull run will be 100 plus. But there's going to be some bumps along the way. Uh, along the way. And it's really important you know, to, to know that. If you're new to crypto, if you're new to trading, you know, 20, 30% corrections, 33% corrections are healthy during a bull market. You've got nothing to worry about. Just, you know, watch the charts, keep your head cool. You know, don't get, you know, um, into a negative mindset because like I said, from a technical point of view, this is where I think we're going to end up and this is where I think we're going. So once again, thank you so much. I uh, really, really appreciate all of you. And if you do like the channel, hit that subscribe and like button. And I can't wait to see you on the next one.